The issue is the water just can't drain your cores in Barcelona. Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain asked the county when it will be fixed. Doug and Shelly, the water's gone now, but if you'll come down here with me, you'll see how much dirt and sediment is left behind, and that's because water was here for hours yesterday. Locals in the area not happy about it, want to know when the county's going to fix the drainage problem. We got the answer, and they're not going to be too happy about it. It's the infuriating intersection. Every time the South Valley gets a downpour, locals say Barcelona Road and near Coors Boulevard fills up with water. Cars stall out and the newly formed pond attracts mosquitoes. Ideally, it would be good if we have like, some sort of drainage. We went right to the county about the problem. Officials tell us drainage is coming, but not anytime soon. It's on our priority list, but it's not within the next six years of funding currently. Roger Paul says the state once had plans to install heavy-duty storm drains in this intersection, but the project was shelved a few years ago because of the recession. Now a drenched cores in Barcelona, seen from Sky 7, is nearly at the bottom of the county's to-do list. We have other higher priority projects that deal with floodplain and the like. So for at least the next six years, when it rains... Could I make it out? Had to push it out of the water. Drivers will just need to take a detour. When the work finally does begin, we're told it'll take the water from here to the Isleta drain, which is about five blocks away. We'll let you know if the county does decide to speed things up. In the South Valley, Laura Terrain, KOAT Action 7 News. The county tells us it has several other projects in the South Valley right now. They should help with flooding at other busy intersections, but not at cores in Barcelona.